Today we're going to be looking at a technical detail at the HRV unit or a heat recovery ventilator. Matthew's in the basement down in the mechanical room and he's going to show us how that thing works. Thanks, John. So I'm standing in the mechanical room, which is on the lower level of the house, and I wanted to show everybody what an HRV looks like when it's properly installed in the mechanical room. So follow me in around here. And this is the HRV uh, right here. It's this big white box. It's about three feet long, about a foot and a half tall. And as you notice, it is mounted close towards the ceiling. And the reason for that is, is the HRV has to connect directly to the outside uh, through some air intake and outtake vents. So because we're in the basement, it needs to be obviously up to reach the exterior. The second thing that you'll notice is the ducting ties directly into the furnace because, of course, the HRV and the furnace are linked together. And so the furnace and the HRV need to be located fairly close together in the mechanical room, but you still have to have enough room to access them for service. So right now what I want to do is go upstairs and look at what the HRV controls and venting look like in one of the bathrooms. So we'll head upstairs. So I'm standing in the master ensuite, and I wanted to show everybody what the HRV control panel and venting looks like. And typically, you'll find these in all of the bathrooms of a house and possibly the laundry room as well. So here is the control panel. Very simple. It's just a LED display with three settings, low, medium, and high. It just controls the amount of air that's going to move through the system. Right above it, we have the wall vent. It's a typical round vent, about six inches wide. And they're going to be mounted up close to the ceiling because that's going to maximize the amount of airflow in the space. To learn more about the details of heat recovery ventilators, click on this link. And to learn more details about this house, go to our website, slowhomestudio.com.